I'll be honest, sepsis is scary. It's not only scary for patients, but as a doctor, it's scary for me when I'm treating patients or have with sepsis or suspected sepsis. Guys, sepsis is a potentially life-threatening condition. I'm going to tell you all about it. First thing you should know is that 1.7 million Americans per year will get sepsis. 270,000 Americans uh, die from sepsis every year, and one in three people who die in the hospital have sepsis. You're wondering, so what does this sepsis thing mean? What is it? What's the problem here? Well, if sepsis really is the body's extreme response to an infection, I'm going to tell you what can happen to the body uh, as a result of this infection response, which infections can cause, who's likely to get it. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, a practicing family physician. Let's just get started. So again, this is a medical emergency. Again, life-threatening because what can happen if sepsis is not treated is organs can actually shut down. Death can actually happen. But let's take a few steps back, okay? Because I know you're saying, okay, well, how do we get there? How does someone become septic? How does somebody get this uh, extreme response to infection? That's this medical emergency that you're talking about. Well, what happens is generally you get an infection in your body somewhere of some type. Most common places uh, of infections that can sort of lead to, to sepsis, although Theoretically, any infection could lead to sepsis, uh, but uh, infections in the lungs, in infections in the urinary tract, like the kidneys, the bladder, uh, infections uh, in the gastrointestinal tract, like the stomach, the, uh, the bowels, and things like that. But basically, the idea is an infection in your body will trigger a chain reaction throughout your body that then is what is this thing called sepsis. Uh, oftentimes, the infections that trigger this cascade of events are bacterial infections, like, uh, like, a, like a pneumonia or like a urinary tract infection or things like that. But viral infections could trigger this cascade or this reaction in the body as well, such as the flu could do it for some, COVID-19, other viral infections or other pathogens. Um, and the idea here is that when one gets an infection, the infection is not stopped. Instead, the infection continues to sort of grow and sort of affect more and more and more, and the body responds to this, leading to something that we call sepsis, okay? So the first thing to understand is I don't want you to take from this video that you should be afraid of every infection that you get. Remember, any infection that you get should be appropriately managed and treated by your doctor. Uh, usually in the, in, the, in the situation of sepsis, we're talking about infections that have not um, been resolved, have not been stopped, that have continued to sort of grow and uh, fester, spread, et cetera, whatever the situation might be. But of course, every situation is a little different, okay? Um, the other thing you should understand, people who are highest risk for sepsis are people over the age of 65, people with chronic uh, underlying conditions such as diabetes, lung disease, um, uh, cancer, kidney disease, those with weakened immune systems, of course. Uh, weak, those with weakened immune systems are often at a higher risk for certain things than others. Uh, women who are pregnant and also children under the age of one years old. And when we talk about sepsis, you know, again, this is this uh, a, a body's the body's extreme response to some infection that that person has developed that has kind of continued to grow and spread. What happens is the body shows signs that lets us know it is in sepsis. Um, signs and symptoms of sepsis can be things like increased breathing, uh, increased heart rates or rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, being confused, sort of um, like really not with it, um, extreme discomfort, whether that's pain or discomfort alone, sometimes fever, uh, shivering, being super, super cold, or being sweaty and clammy. Signs that, that show that a patient is not doing so well. Um, and once again, as I said before, without treatment, sepsis can actually lead to uh, multiple organ failure. It can actually also lead to death. Now, the thing that's most important for us here is, you know, well, first of all, can it be treated? The answer is yes, okay? Sepsis is something that is treated in the hospital setting. Again, this is a potentially life-threatening condition. If you are concerned that somebody is not right, okay? And you don't have to know what it is, by the way. It may not be sepsis, it might just be something else. But if someone's not right, you seek medical care, okay? Period. Um, but there are treatments for patients who have sepsis, this sort of body's response to an infection. Um, there are antibiotics. Uh, there's uh, ways that we can increase blood flow to organs to help uh, organs. Uh, IV fluids can be very helpful. 
um, and uh, other medications that we might need to use to help that body deal with the infection and kind of uh, sort of regain control of itself, whether it's blood pressure medications or what have you. So there are treatments for it, okay? Uh, but I think the message here is that just know that sepsis is when somebody is super, super, super sick. First of all, this is treated in the hospital. It doesn't mean that every infection will turn into sepsis, but it's one of the reasons why infections that we have, no matter where they are, need to be evaluated and treated uh, and, and addressed by your doctor or a medical professional. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Um, you know, there are many famous people in the news that have gotten sepsis, that have been hospitalized with sepsis. You might know people yourself. Hopefully, uh, this is helpful for you guys. Guys, I'm Dr. Jane Caudill. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Uh, make sure you keep it locked here. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks.